Greetings YouTube. My friend Skull posted a video this past weekend where he was discussing uh, respect and tolerance and the nature of language. I'm going to skip the nature of language bit he covered because it's just so complex. But I like to talk about a little bit about um, respect, tolerance, and acceptance. Now, I'm going to give you an example. The Ku Klux Klan. Now, I tolerate the existence of the Ku Klux Klan even though I am completely intolerant of their message. And the reason I tolerate their existence is that I have respect for freedom of speech, which is much greater than my intolerance of even their message, because I want them to have freedom of speech. I want them to stand on the public square and proclaim to the whole world about their hateful, race-baiting, discriminatory, bigoted worldview, because that's how we can keep an eye on them. Another example is that I, don't, I do not just tolerate the existence of gay Americans, I accept them and I am their ally. Now as far as respect goes, respect is something I reserve for individuals. I don't have respect for an entire class of people. I don't see. I don't. You can't say I'm not going to have to say I have respect for all plaid people because I don't know all plaid people. I could know individual plaid people, and I could or could not have respect for them as individuals. Now I give everyone a certain baseline level of respect, and through either the actions of that of that of the people I encounter determines whether my respect for them goes up or by the respect for them goes down. And of the people I call friend, my respect tends to go up. And if my respect goes below a certain level, I just cease contact with the person. I don't need people in my life that I don't respect because there's a darn good reason I don't respect them, though it could be different from every person. But I think that it's important that we foster a worldview where tolerance and acceptance are the norm, where we try to increase, encourage people to live the lives that we think they should and we, we, that we believe everyone should so that they are worthy of our tolerance and our acceptance and potentially, as individuals, our respect. Now, here on my channel, I encounter all the time that people tell me that I am an intolerant bigot because I do not believe that all worldviews are equally valid. Because I don't. I just mentioned the Ku Klux Klan. I don't think their worldview is equally valid to, say, the Buddhists or mine. Just because I don't believe in a worldview doesn't make me an intolerant bigot. Because anyone that thinks that all worldviews are equally valid is a moral relativist. And I am not a moral relativist. I don't believe all worldviews are equally valid. In fact, I believe that there are some worldviews, such as the clans, that should be shouted down wherever possible. We need to point out, yes, they can tell people their hate-mongering wor words, and we can then say, you said your piece, now it's my turn, and tell them how we feel. I don't want to silence them. I just want them to make sure that they know that there are more people in the world that disagree with them than agree with them. So yes, according to some people here on YouTube, I am an intolerant bigot because I do not consider all world's views equally valid. Well, I'm sorry folks, I'm never going to do that. I don't think I'm an intolerant bigot. I think I'm probably one of the least intolerant individuals you're going to encounter. I am able to tolerate a whole lot of worldviews, even those I don't agree with, um, because I think that that fosters better conversations and less violence in the world. But there are real views I won't tolerate, and I'll speak about them. And that's going to piss people off. And now that I've, I've talked about the clan today, I'll probably get some race traitor comments too. They're always fun. So tell me, what are your views on respect, tolerance, and acceptance.